Solomon's Castle in Florida. It's pretty famous. It's got a restaurant, a bar, and just this really rad castle. You know any of the history of this thing? What I understand is that the actual gentleman built it for his wife. I just love all these live oaks, man. The way they just crisscross and squiggle across the ceiling. And look at here, the wall all built with blocks. Look at that bicycle, Scott. Man. So there it is, the castle. And then that ship over there is where you can eat. You can see all the stained glass in all the windows. I forget what it was built out of. Printing press, those are printing sheets. That's what he built this place out of. Talk about a cool castle. Too neat. This whole property is just, I mean, look at this. Old swamps down there. So that boat, like I said, is a restaurant. They call it the boat in the moat. Here we've got all the outdoor patio seating. It looks like a little gift shop over there too. We did get here a little bit late. It is also a Wednesday, but this restaurant's super cool. And they got someone that does some dang good stained glass around here, that's for sure. There is so much to see here on this property, it's overwhelming. And there's lots to show you in this video. But unfortunately, they don't allow cameras or videoing inside the gallery itself. They want you to basically come and visit it in person. But I'm gonna see if I can't get Mr. Solomon's daughter, Elaine, to make an exception for us. All right, y'all are in for a real treat here. This is not something you normally get to do. They never let anybody film in here, uh, but we built a good enough relationship. I sweet talked her and she's gonna let me show you a snippet of two rooms. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little nervous to ask her, but I just threw it out there. We are gonna enter the castle. I will check back in with y'all when I get to two rooms that I'm able to give you a snippet of. The real concept of the Solomon's Castle is that it's an art gallery. The castle is filled with art that Mr. Solomon has created over his lifetime. And although he has passed to this day, his daughter, who grew up in this very home, is running the property and the gallery. All right, y'all, here's one room I'm gonna show you. And I'm gonna tell you, I've already been through three or four, and this place is filled. I cannot believe one person could create this much art, you know, in one lifetime. Elaine, you said about four years old he started? Yeah, he was about four when he made his first piece that they kept. And he finished at what age? 81. Look at this room. I'm just gonna give you a couple pieces. If you come take the tour, you can get the names and the stories of all these pieces of art that he built. But that's all I'm gonna give you from this room. You gotta come and take the tour and grab some lunch. This is super cool, y'all. This is the foyer to the actual living quarters within the castle with all this beautiful stained glass behind me. And Elaine grew up here. No, we don't say grew up, do we, Elaine? No. What do we say? We say, I, I was raised here. <laughs> because I didn't grow up. That's a lie. <laughs> oh, man. And you could come meet her, her heritage, her history. Uh, right here and she's here often you're here most of the time i am i'm here almost every day almost every day good american small business it's beautiful remarkable absolutely remarkable okay that's all you guys get you'll have to come for yourselves this is inside the boat on the moat and this is where you can come get a lunch and you can sit alongside all these stained glass windows look out into the swamps this is truly a unique one-of-a-kind experience uh, certainly a special way to dine. So Elaine has invited us to have a bite to eat, even though that they are closed. She's a welcoming us in for a meal. And we're gonna try her food, her home cooked food. My only request was that she gave us her suggestions on food. So we're gonna split a Reuben and a Cuban. And Scott and I are gonna split them because we both like both of them. So look at this. He even got a split in half for us. Because mm -hmm. she knows you would have taken a bigger half, Scott. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's right protecting me. So what is this one over here with the green? That's the spinach casserole. Spinach casserole. Oh my God. It's so soft and like cheesy. Maybe it's some sort of a cheese something on top. Oh. Being treated like kings at a castle. That food was absolutely amazing, but there's another dining room inside of what is called the Lighthouse, another building built by Mr. Solomon. So this is the Lighthouse dining area. My God, this is beautiful. Do you do a lot of weddings out here and stuff? We do weddings, rehearsal dinners, reunions, birthday yeah. parties. All right, y'all, I want to introduce you to Elaine. Elaine Hi. is Howard Solomon's daughter. So mm -hmm. Elaine Solomon, and she is giving us just a brief little tour around her property here and showing us what's going on. And we hope you come soon. Yes, you have to. This place is so unique. What was the inspiration for building this castle? We need to know this. Well, he, first of all, he's an artist, and so obviously whatever he builds is going to be a work of art. Mm -hmm. The castle is his largest 
uh, sculpting. Unbelievable. And every man's home is his castle, right? So he just figured his castle, castle would be his home. Would be an actual castle. Mm -hmm. And he did all the stained glass himself, you said, too. He did. He did all the stained glass. Unbelievable. Um, there's the lighthouses. Oh, man, look at that. And that one is a replica of the, the lighthouse you're in, the Lily Lighthouse. You're in the community of Lily. It is too cool. This is definitely a must-stop destination, y'all, because it's so unique. You can come have a drink. You can have your food. All the um, food is homemade. Everything's fresh and all made right man. here. You're going to get some good food, and you're going to get to appreciate a one-of-a-kind experience surrounded by art. All in all, Solomon's Castle has more than a little bit to offer, and it's a must-stop if you're anywhere in the middle of Florida. This is true classic Americana. And that's a wrap, y'all. I hope you enjoyed Solomon's Castle, super unique place, cool family history. So thankful to everybody over there at Solomon's for giving us that royal treatment. Truly made a difference for us and gave us the opportunity to share such a cool place with the entire internet. Hope y'all enjoyed this spot and I'll see y'all in the next video.